My name is Alfred. My name is Juan. My name is Mandy. Welcome to Power Your Story Season 4. A podcast from Ray Ram Training Center High School in Chicago. This season, our theme is Exploring Chicago. In this episode, Joel, Mark, and Alfred interview Chicago-based hip-hop artists Riggio and PDS. We talked about producing music as independent artists growing up in Chicago and being positive influence. This interview was originally recorded in 2018. Since then, Riggio went on his first tour in 2019 and his new album, 25 Winters, just came out. You can find his music on Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the show. Yeah, my name is Alfred Albert. This is Power Your Story. I'm here with Mark and Drew. <laughs> and today we are talking about music, rapper, with Reginald, and Tiger. So, Reginald, um, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Feeling good. It's a nice day. Yeah. How long have you been playing music? Uh, since I was 17. I'm 23 right now, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Almost six years. Almost six years? Yeah. How would you describe your style? It's real spiritual, you know, high energy. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep the energy up, you feel me? But I'm trying to make it more smooth now. But yeah, it's like high energy. Yo, like turn up music like that? Yeah. We're not, I'm going to say turn up music, but it's like just a lot of energy. It's like energy packed music. Yeah, let's move down, yeah. 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 What do you create this kind of music? It makes me feel good, to be honest with you. That's the only reason why I do it. It makes me feel good. If it made me feel bad, I wouldn't do it. How do you? You come up with your lyrics for your songs. I think about a topic. Actually, I usually, I listen to the beat first, and I think about a topic. Usually it's related towards God in some type of way. And then I just write them down. Like, I freestyle it, and I write down a freestyle. Why is it important to you to have a positive message in your song? Because uh, today, in nowadays society, there's so much negativity in our music, and there's so much bad things going on with people talking about drugs and sex and everything else. So I feel like positivity will put a nice spin on what we got going on right now. Like, we need that. Do you produce your own beats, or do you collaborate with someone? Uh, both. I, I make my beats, and me and Tyler, we collaborate with beats a lot. Do you um, collaborate with Riggio often? Uh, yes, I do collaborate with Riggio often. He's very creative Perfect. and he have a different style when it comes to like making beats. Wait, are you talking about making beats or making music in general? Music in general. Okay. Uh, yeah, we both have different styles. You know, he's more on the spiritual and I'm, I'm spiritual as well, but I, I got a smoother, you know, vibe to my music and we just, both creative in our own different ways and we just make one, you know. What is it like to perform on stage? Oh, uh, what is it like to perform live? <laughs> Man, it's so many different emotions, you know, like sometimes I'll, I'll be nervous, sometimes I'm, I'm real confident within myself. But it's, it's, it's a great experience overall, you know, just to see the crowd reaction, you know, if they really like your music. And, hey, sometimes they may not like your music, but, you know, you just got to keep strong and just keep going. Yeah, it's everything that Tyler said, honestly. You know, sometimes I'll be nervous when I get up there, but I'll try to turn that nervousness into excitement. And then I just kind of get more excited. And then being up there, it's exhilarating, especially when the crowd interacting with one another. It's super, super fun. So it's just like a good time overall. Do you like what color uh, for fun, but both both of them have like a different feel. Like recording, recording is good because I really get to see like man, I could really be creative, you know, and I could express my feelings in many different ways. And um, performing is a different feel because like whatever you recorded and re whatever creative thoughts you came up with and however you put your song together to see how the crowd react to your art, it's a good feeling. Like, if they really like your art, it's a great feeling. Like, man, I really just did something, you know? Like, I created this. No, it's everything he said. I double that, same. <laughs> what is your try here not gonna up? What was it like? I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot of things. Uh, it was a lot of fear, I ain't gonna lie to you, because, um, you know, with just violence, not having a positive environment, so it was like, it was a lot of fear inside of it. A lot of my family was up on it, so it was cool being around my family. 
And I moved to the, like the north suburbs when I was like around 12, so it was just kind of like a different spin for my life overall, you feel me? But coming back to the city, you know, I turned all that fear into excitement into wanting to pave a new way, and it was just fun. So like being on the west side now compared to then is just like such a different mindset, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, man. so I was raised on the south side. Well, I was born on the east side. You know, that's where I was born and raised. Then I moved to the south side. It was a lot of different emotions as well. Just seeing what goes on on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, it could be, it's a lot of negativity that goes on, just a lot of negative energy. And, you know, it's easy to get wrapped up in that negative energy. I never did, but, you know, it was a lot of fear, you know, like you had to just stay strong and just, like, respect yourself and just, you know, respect how you was raised, your people, respect your family, and just do the right thing. Always do the right thing. Uh, how's that influence your music? How does it influence my music? Well, it influenced my music. For it to be so negative from where I grew up at, it influenced my music in a positive way because I know exactly what I didn't want to project to the world. You know, it was a lot of violence, a lot of you know, game banging, drug selling. And I'm like, I know it's a different way to live life. So I just want to show people the different way to live life through my music, you know? Yeah. It was kind of a similar thing. Cause at first, I ain't gonna lie to you. At first I used to like kind of just fall into the negativity. But then after a while, I had to kind of get back to like my real self and get back in tune with who I was as a person. I realized that I wasn't really all those bad things around me. And um, I wanted to make a positive change, just like Tyler, just do something positive because of that negative. Was playing music your dream when you were a little kid? No, I did not care for music at all, up until I was about 17. When I was a little kid, I actually used to love computers. So I used to do a lot of computer-based everything. I used to uh, like hooking up computers, just learning everything about computers. I did not like music until way later on. 17? Yeah, 17, way later on. Who's inspired you to get into music as a career? My favorite artist is Big Sean, and I feel like listening to his music really made me believe that I can do it because he was talking about like being a fan compared to being the man up on the stage. And I was like, man, I don't know, do I want to be a fan of music or do I want to be up there as well? So it kind of made me want to think. So I feel like Big Sean did that for me, like gave me that drive. Yeah. Did, did you want to answer too? Who inspired me? Um, definitely Lil Wayne. Although he may have like negative content to his music, I did you know, see how creative he can be with music. So, you know, I just took the creative side of, you know, his art and I'm like, man, like he's great at what he do. So, you know, I want to see if I could be a part of that as well. And, you know, just how like his music make, made me feel, you know, and I just wanted to project a, a positive energy to music. So yeah, he definitely inspired me. Kendrick Lamar, he inspired me. J. Cole, I could go on and on about these great artists. Yeah, but those are a few artists that inspire me. Oh, and my brother. My brother definitely inspired me to do music. You know, just him believing in me and, you know, really, man, he made me realize that I could really do music, you know, so he inspired me as well. What's your dream for, for the future? My dream, my ultimate dream is to be able to get into the kingdom of God, you know, so that's, that's first on my list. I want to be able to, like, make it into that. But besides all that, one of my dreams is just to be able to just give back in a major way. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to ride around in a, in a nice limousine and just tell to all the homeless people and people in need to get in so we can go, you know, spend a little weekend together, you feel me? Have, give them a lifestyle they ain't never had before. You know what I'm saying? I just want to do stuff like that just to be able to, like, change people's mindsets, make you know, like, yeah, it is possible. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not all bad. My dreams in the future <laughs> is definitely change people mindsets you know because like i just want to give people hope a lot of a lot of kids that's feeling hopeless well it don't necessarily have to be kids but just anybody who want to you know stand up and, and be something in life you know but in their position that they're in they they probably feel hopeless whatever the case may be but i just want to be able to shed that light on them and to show them that you actually can be whatever you really desire to be you know, so that's my dream, just to give people that, that light and that hope. Do you think life has a purpose? If so, how do you find it? Yeah, I feel like life got a purpose for effect. 
and how do I find it? I believe in the Bible, you know, and I believe in the Word of God. So I feel like every sense of our purpose as human beings, we're like sharing love with one another and doing what we're supposed to. I feel like that's how we find it. It's like trying to serve God to the best of our ability. And through that, we'll find out what's our true purpose, you know? So, yeah. Most definitely life does have a purpose, you know, and um, how do I find it? I, I really just feel like you got to follow your heart, you know, whatever you believe in and, and whatever genuinely feels right to you, you know, just just follow your heart. How do you think music can influence people? Um, how do I think it can influence people? I feel like the way that it does is that, like, depending on the words that the person is saying, they can probably, like, ignite something within you to make you want to do something. So, if like, if somebody's always saying, like, I don't know, one day I'm going to hit my cousin really, really hard in their music, and they keep saying that, I feel like that'll, like, ignite something in you to be like, man, I think I want to hit my cousin really hard. So, I feel like you have to be very watchful of the music that you listen to because it can really influence you to make certain decisions. And if you listen to something that is positive, that's telling you to do the right things, it'll have, like, a, a better effect and make you think more and be like, man, I think I probably do want to make a good decision one day. Like Red said, uh, I feel like it's very influential, you know, I could give you an example, a scenario. Like, I was listening to a lot of Kendrick Lamar, and from his art, I've learned that, you know, he he just always true to himself. And, you know, growing up, I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go in with the music, so I was writing a lot of, you know, nonsense. And um, listening to Kendrick Lamar, I always just seemed like, man, he's so true to himself. So it influenced me to start, like, making music like being true to myself so you know it's, it's very influential it could it could turn your mood you could go from mad to happy in in just a matter of seconds by listening to you know some inspiring words what would you like to explore in your next music and career what would i like to explore i want to explore the world and i feel like through music uh, I can do that. That's probably the next thing because with the different sounds and whatnot, that's cool. But I explored a decent amount with sounds at this moment. So my next thing is being able to actually travel, and that's what I—that's how I want to explore with music too. Is seeing how other people from around the country receive that from traveling. What can you tell us about making a career as a musician? Always be true to yourself always never run from the truth and just just make music that you you feel make music that make you feel good because you know you can never go wrong if your music make you feel good you never know who who looking at you or what kind of people could relate to you so you know just make music that make you feel good if you're gonna make a career out of it treat it like it's a career you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're, going, if you're going to actually do it, do it seriously. You know, be as professional as possible as you can while doing it. Don't cut no corners with it, you know, and be serious as if, like, you wanted to go to the NBA. You know, them dudes who want to go to the NBA, they wake up at 5 in the morning. Uh, they practice real hard. Then they go to practice. They make sure they're healthy and everything, and they learn everything about their game as much as possible. So it's the same thing with taking music as a career. You got to not only write as much as much music as you can, but learn about the artists around you, learn how you can get in different places that you can be to get to the next level that you want to be at. And just treat it as if like you want to go to the NBA. So that's how I think about it. You gotta learn the history and everything. <laughs> yeah. Do you make a living for music or do you have any job? I had other jobs, but I recently gave it up to pursue my music career, you know, so, so I, don't, I ain't making a living now, but in due time, you know, if I just keep living righteously and just following my dreams, it will happen one day. Well, uh, with me, I actually, I made my first dollar for music last year in January at a show, and it was exciting, because I was like, oh, snap, I made my first dollar. Ah, first dollar. <laughs> I was so excited. But uh, but this year, I actually started making money way more consistently by doing different shows and throwing throwing events and um, selling beats, because I'm a producer, too. So, yeah, I make my living from music, but 
I also do a little lift with him as well, just to make a little extra cash, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be coming up short all the time. So, um, yeah, the, and how I made music, I mean, how I made money with my music, like everything I was saying before, like really taking it serious and like, you know, operating as a, as a business person with music, and that's it. What does it take to be successful? What does it take to be successful? Dedication, you gotta stay focused, you know, you gotta kind of just keep a clear mind, and you gotta you gotta know what you want. You gotta exactly know what you want out of life. It is it's all up to you. What whatever your meaning of successful is, and everything else, you just gotta kind of discipline yourself. You know, that's what it takes in my eyes. Yeah, true. Tyler Wright. It's all about that discipline. At the end of the day, I feel like if you had that, you good. Like discipline, especially with music, you got to be very disciplined because you got to write songs, and it don't you don't always want to write songs, you know what I'm saying it actually gets very tiring, and then you don't want to always go out to perform but you got to do it, you don't want to always record but you got to do it, so it's like that discipline has to be the above discipline, just being super, super good with people, like, you know, being nice to people you know, being kind and just being generous that really helps you be successful because people are going to take you serious and they're going to be like, oh man like, this not like a jerk at the end of the day, like, he a, he a cool guy, you I want to be able to support him. I want to do for him because he's cool. So that's how you want to go in that mindset of being disciplined and treating people with love. What advice do you have for an up and coming artist? So what I, pretty much everything I just said. Be nice, you know what I'm saying? Be cool with people. Keep going. There's going to be moments when it's going to suck and it's not going to feel super, super good, but there's gonna be moments when it really do feel good and you're gonna really like, okay, this is the reason why I'm doing this. So keep going when it don't feel good and just treat people nice, man, treat people good. Yeah, treat people how you want to be treated. Stay true to yourself at all times. At all times, stay true to yourself. And believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself, man, because look, it's so much, it could be so many distractions out here, you know, just always believe in yourself and be confident. Yeah. Has there ever been a time you feel like quitting or giving up? Once when I was 19, it was like three years ago, no, four years ago. I didn't feel like I was quitting, but I just felt like I couldn't make no more music for a period of time just because I couldn't find no beats. And I was kind of mad. I was like, man, I can't find beats, man. I don't know if this is going to work. But it only lasted for like, like a very small short time. So that was like the only time. Other than that, ever since I started, I really felt like this can happen. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of times where I felt like giving up, you know, because although we are chasing our dreams, we still got to live life, you know. So you get a little discouraged when, you know, you got bills and the money ain't coming in as as soon as you expect or, you know, you're not making moves as soon as you expect. So, yeah, you get a little discouraged, but you always got to look at the bigger picture at the end of the day, you know, so just never give up. Where can people find your music online and, and learn more about you? You can find all of my music on SoundCloud. But if you don't like SoundCloud, it's on YouTube as well. And if you don't like YouTube, uh, it's on Spotify. And if you don't like Spotify, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's on Apple Music. So all those places. Um, if they want to learn more about me, if you just look up Riggio, it's a couple little interviews here and there, uh, you know what I'm saying, where I talk and explain more about myself. So you just got to do a little homework. That's all. Uh, a lot of my music, uh, I'm going to just keep it real simple. You go to my Instagram, built like kings, built underscore like underscore kings. And uh, it's kind of like a, a domino effect from there. I, it's many different websites in my Instagram where you can find, you know, my music. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Yes, I do. Um, I appreciate y'all having me. This was super fun. This was cool. I appreciate the opportunity. I ain't know it was going to be this smooth. It was super, super smooth. Yeah, thank y'all. I really appreciate you guys having me. Really appreciate y'all time. But yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for talking to us today. No problem. Thank y'all for talking to us today. Bye. Power Your Story podcast is produced by students at Ray Graham Training Center High School in Chicago. With the production support of After School Matters and the creative Imposter Studios. Today's episode was produced by Alfred. Ma. Joelle. Our theme music is by Gennaro Jackson, a.k.a. DJ Sparks. You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Google Podcasts, and on the web at 
PowerYourStoryPodcast.com. Follow us, subscribe, and share our show with a friend. Thank you for listening. We say be smart. Turn up all the way. I got all the vibes.